Welcome back to the Rockford Ice Hogs Broadcasting Network. Joseph Zakshevsky with you as the Ice Hogs and Milwaukee Admirals get together here tonight at BMO Harris Bank Center for Dean Lowry Bobblehead Night. And Dean Lowry, the Green Bay Packers defensive end, and also Rockford native in the building here tonight to celebrate. Well, earlier this week, we had an opportunity to catch up with several Ice Hog players, including goaltender Jeff Glass, defenseman Victor Svedberg, and Darren Radish, along with forward Anthony Lewis to break down these upcoming games for the Ice Hogs, their postseason push, and how they're going to roll into the weekend with two key home games. Oh, we had the option today, but went out. Uh, another day to work on a few small things and get a little better. How's the body feel right now? Feels good. Feels good. It's uh, it's the best time of the year right now. We're fighting for a playoff spot. It's uh, it's fun to come to the rink right now. We've put ourselves in a really good position where uh, the games matter, the practices matter. So uh, it's the best time of the year to be playing hockey. Getting a chance to work with Colin, obviously. You two are coach is saying you guys are both playing really well. So does that push each other to kind of get that ice time and see who's going to play that night? Uh, I, you know what? I, don't, I, I know I'm obviously trying to help deals, and he's pushing me to be better as well. But I think in the bigger picture, we both want to win for this team. And um, that's our major focus right now. I know when deals gets in the net, he's trying to do everything he can to win. Uh, likewise, I, I know I'm I'm a competitive guy that wants to play and wants to win, but uh, most importantly right now I want to get into the playoffs. So um, I'm going to try to help this team any way I can on the games I'm playing, uh, obviously in the net, you know, on the ice. But if I'm not playing, I want to help this team off the ice if it means helping deals or helping the other guys, whatever it takes to uh, to get us into the playoffs. For you to you know, be on the cusp of perhaps making the playoffs. I mean, I think uh, this time of the year is the most fun to play hockey, obviously. Uh, you always want to end up in the playoffs, and uh, that's what we're striving for right now. I think uh, we got some games left here to, to show that we really want to be in it, and uh, hopefully we can get on the right side of it. Those two road wins at Chicago and Iowa you're coming off of uh, had to boost your momentum completely. Uh, just describe the feeling of how much momentum those two victories have given you guys. I think every division game here is obviously going to be even bigger than the, the other games. We got about 11 games left here, I think. So I think every game, especially against the division rivals, is going to be really big ones. And I think coming on top of those two is obviously huge for the for the division here. Uh, you know, it's pretty good. All the guys are uh, pretty happy uh, coming to the rink every day, and you know, all these games really mean something. So uh, just to get up for the games and and practices and stuff like that, it's been real fun. You guys have tied your season high seven game point streak. What's been kind of clicking for you guys as of late? Uh, I think we're just riding the momentum. We, uh, we got a couple big wins uh, a couple weeks ago and we've just been uh, riding that lately and just uh, just trying to gear up for the playoffs and try and get in there. This was a voluntary workout today at this juncture of the season. How does the body feel and why did you feel it was important for you to get out there on the ice? Uh, you know, I just uh, I just always go out there. I like to get the field up for the puck and uh, I don't like to have two days off uh, without touching the puck, so I'm um, just feeling good today and just thought I'd get there and touch the puck. Generally at this stage of the season, do you feel the bumps and the wear and tear or do you feel re-energized because of what's at stake? Uh, I don't think so. You work on that in the, in the summer and you prepare for that all, all summer long, so at this time of the season that your body's ready and uh, you'll be ready for every game. It's in Chicago and Iowa, how much momentum do you guys feel right now? Uh, yeah, we're obviously trying to use that moving forward. We got another few uh, big games here. We're in a tight race with some a few teams, so uh, we'll definitely use it to our advantage. One of five rookies to score ten plus goals. Uh, what does it mean for you to put the you know puck in the net? Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to play my game. I mean, I'm a playmaker. Um, I mean, just trying to do what I can to help the team and uh, make a playoff push here. So. You guys have yet to beat Milwaukee on home ice. How are you going to use the momentum from the seven-game point streak to go into Friday's game? Uh, yeah, I definitely think this past weekend is going to help. Uh, I think we're due against this team. Uh, we usually outplay them, so hopefully we can tighten up defensively a little bit and keep dominating down in the offensive zone to get some more goals to overcome them. Special teams has also been working for you guys lately. What kind of change or what's clicking as of now? Uh, yeah, I think we're... A little bit more simple on the power play. Um, I mean, before we were just trying to make the perfect play, and now we're getting a few more shots through, which is letting uh, the defensive team I mean, kind of run around, and then the plays open up. Um, our penalty kill's been pretty good too. Um, I mean, they just got to keep doing what they're doing. They're they're pretty good all year, so. 
A big thank you to all the Ice Hawk players for joining us as Rockford back home at BMO Harris Bank Center tonight to square off against the Milwaukee Admirals on Dean Lowry bobblehead night where Dean Lowry himself, the Rockford native and Green Bay Packers defensive end is in the building to celebrate. Well, stay tuned for more Rockford Ice Hogs hockey as the Hogs and Milwaukee Admirals get together for the final time in the regular season. You're watching Rockford Ice Hogs hockey on the Ice Hogs broadcast network.